A micrometer screw gauge can measure very small objects, such as the thickness of a human hair. This is what one looks like. It's made up of five parts. We've got something called the anvil. We've got a spindle. We've got a sleeve. A thimble. and a ratchet. And the idea is you place the object that you're measuring between the anvil and the spindle. You unlock the spindle with this lever here. And then you can wind the thimble to close the spindle until it is holding the object. Now it's important not to hold it too tight otherwise you might squash it when you wind this in. So that's why you use the ratchet when you are just made contact with the object you then transfer to the ratchet and that when you continue to turn it will click at a specific pressure at a specific force that's holding the object so it doesn't squash it. Okay so how do we measure the micrometer screw gauge reading. Most micrometer screw gauges, by the way, will have an accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 millimeters. That's a hundredth of a millimeter. So we're talking pretty, pretty good precision here. And you can put an object which could be up to 25 millimeters in length between the anvil and the spindle. So here we've got three readings off the sleeve, which is this part here and the thimble, which is this part there. And we need to be able to take those readings. So let's do that now. Okay. The sleeve has half millimeter markings. So this goes up in half millimeter markings. And the thimble has markings or intervals of 0.2 zero one millimeters. So these are the intervals on this measuring instrument. So the idea is you read off from the from the sleeve to start with and you add the reading on the thimble. So here we can see we've got half one one and a half and two millimeters is just exposed. So we've got a reading on the sleeve of 2.0 millimeters. And now we look at the thimble and we can see we've got, well, it's a five, 10. We line it up to the center line and we've got 0.12, 0.12. Millimeters, and that's on the thimble. Remember that these are hundredths of a millimeter. So one five here or fifteen is actually fifteen hundredths, which is zero point one five of a millimeter. Okay, then we just add them up. So if we put another zero in there, we've got two, one. 2.12 millimeters. That's the reading for this first object that we're measuring. Okay, let's do the next one. So we've got a half showing one, one and a half, two, two and a half is just showing. So that's the sleeve reading. 2.50 millimeters. Now we go to the thimble and we see that we've got 10, it looks like 14 there. So that's 14 hundredths of a millimeter. So that's 0 0.14 millimeters. That's the thimble reading. Add them together. What do we get? 4, 6, and 2. 2.64 millimeters. Finally, let's take a look at this one. Um, this is a, a larger object. We've got 5 millimeters showing. In fact, 5.5 is just showing just there. So we've got the sleeve 
which shows us 5.50 millimeters, five and a half. And the thimble reading is, let's see, five. It's actually, the center line's about nine, isn't it? Nine hundredth. So that's 0 0.09 millimeters, remembering that these are hundredths of a millimeter. Add them up, we get nine, five, and a five. So we get 5.59 millimeters. I hope that's helped and uh, so that you can now read a micrometer screw gauge.